Hello and welcome. I'm so glad you're here today. We are going to talk about preparing for takeoff. Preparing for takeoff. Hi, I'm Jennifer Deloach and I'm glad you're here and we're going to learn some things today. Yesterday, we talked about clearing the runway, okay? And we talked about how not to have uh, the excuses or our justifications in the way. And, and just remember, you don't want to go into those ditches either as you go for takeoff. So you, you are stay, learning to stay focused and giving your attention to where it belongs to take you where you want to go, right? You don't want it to focus on where you're at. You want to know and focus on where you're going. So today, we're actually going to talk about the vibrational power of words because that is very important because it's vibrations, it's frequencies. That is so important that we prepare ourselves in charting our course, okay? And how, well, how we do that is with the words. One of the ways is with the words of our mouth. So we're going to be talking about that. Now, uh, I, today I want to share with you a little, little poem, little poem. And um, it's something that was given to me by a song as I was singing from my heart. And it's not by feelings, lest you be deceived, but it's by choice that you rejoice in me. It's by choice that you believe. It's by choice that you go forward. It's by choice that you reach your destination. It's a choice, okay? It's not by feelings, uh, if whether you feel like you're going to get there or not. It is a choice. It is being consistent with your the choice you've made and, and going forward, okay? Now, when uh, one thing that's very important because we don't want to go by our feelings, we don't want to feed uh, negative thoughts in there and, and cause those emotions to be negative and the feelings to be negative. So it's very important that we be careful what we think on, because as a man thinks, so is he. As a woman thinks, so is he. As a girl boy thinks, so are they. So it's important that we make sure that we're thinking on the right things. It doesn't mean that we're perfected, uh, trying to reach for perfection. It doesn't mean that we're trying to be perfect. It, what it means is you want to be consistent. You want to be consistent, consistent in those thoughts, okay, and in the right thoughts. So understand that your words can interrupt your thinking. When you feel like you're stuck in this, this I guess, the what is it? The little wheel that the rat goes in. Um, it's stuck in the merry-go-round. Um, to get out of that, you have to interrupt it. Interrupt that that cycle of thoughts, the negative thoughts. And how do you, how can you inter interrupt the thoughts with your words? With your words, it's making the choice. I choose to be happy right now. I choose to be uh, joyful right now. I choose to go forward right now. I choose life right now. You know, your words can interrupt those thoughts because your your mind and brain's like I'm listening to what you say. OK, and like there's an example that's given and you can do it right now. Let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five. Five. OK, now say something. You had to quit counting. You had to quit thinking it. So so think. Let's start that over. Let's think and count to 10. Now listen to me what I'm saying. Now say something. I go forward. You had to stop thinking and hear your words can interrupt your thinking. So when you're thinking negatively, speak right words, speak right words. And what I encourage you to do is keep a um, start keeping a journal writing down uh, positive affirmations, something that's handy to get to that you can, when you're in, in that stuck in that negative mode, let, you know, if you have to grab something to start thinking something different and start reading it, do whatever it takes to train yourself to go forward. Okay. Do whatever it takes, have it on the refrigerator and, and, and know that you can interrupt your thinking. You don't have to be stuck in those killer thoughts, so to speak, trying to steal and kill and destroy you. No, you go forward and think right words and use the power of your words. Your own spoken words have power. That is God given to us. He's given us that creative power. And, and see, and let's, let's go back a little bit for a couple of days that we talked about. The soul is the mind, will, and emotions, right? The mind, the will, and the emotions. It is a creative powerhouse. 
creative powerhouse that, that's been given to us. And we get to choose life or death. We get to choose which way we go. We choose that. And so we want to choose life so that we and our seed, our descendants, live so that our descendants actually go this way as well. And, and, learn, and know how about watching mama and daddy and, and to learn how to go forward when the times are hard. So the vibrational power of words. Have you ever felt like you was at a, um, you were stuck at this wall and you're like, how do I get over this wall? It's like I'm in prison in this wall. It's everywhere I want to turn. There's this wall, there's this wall, this wall. And I don't know how. Let me tell you something. You're, have you ever seen uh, YouTube where it talks about the vibration of uh, fre the frequencies that can change the patterns of sand? If you haven't seen that, be encouraged to watch that. That is amazing. It, changing the frequency will change the pattern. And each tune had a different pattern, and they were amazing. There were some that didn't look so good, but there were some that was truly amazing that would just form on its own by the vibrations. And our words have vibrations. In fact, any and everything has vibration. There's nothing that doesn't have a vibration. This table has a vibration that I'm at right now. My computer, my glass of water <laughs> is vibrating. You know, we may not sense that, but it's actually vibrating. This paper is vibrating. There's vibration. It has a frequency. Everything, every matter has a frequency. And um, so when you understand about the, the vibrations, the frequencies, it, the interchangeable words, um, the vibra vibration power of words, then you'll realize, wow, that's what changed my life when I started understanding about vibrations and that, wow, you know, be careful what I do. So now, you know, you, you become more aware, right? You become more aware of the words you speak, the things you think, even the things you do, because it's creating vibrations. It is creating the uh, frequencies for light frequencies to come to you. See, God said, I've set before you life and death, blessing and cursing, you choose. And so it's there. And whatever we choose, we're calling it to come. It could be, uh, we may, if we're calling negative, we're calling that, and that's not the blessing, okay, or life. And if, if we call in life and we're being positive in life, we're calling those like uh, situations, frequencies, I mean, to come to us, okay? So and when in negative situations, um, and if you're in a negative mindset, you're not able to see clearly the solution, so it is a change of mindset, changing the way we think to, to stop seeing the problem and seeing the opportunities to go forward and changing our mindset and seeing the solutions before us. OK, so now that negative wall I was talking about, um, the frequencies that we give um, there, it has been determined, too, that people can use frequencies to break up rocks, <laughs> break up stones. And it can break up walls. I mean, just think about it. The trumpets that sound on, on the when the walls of Jericho went down, that frequency of shouting and all that created such a frequency, the walls came down. God had them do that for a reason. He was letting them take part in this destruction of the Jericho wall to, to, um, to take the city. So here's the thing. What is it that you're going to be doing? What is it that when there when there is a wall, you can break that power of that wall that is so huge. You think there's no way over. There is a way over more than one. And it's like any problem that's out there. There's more than one solution to get it solved. OK, and so just remember, there is no problem. There are no problems. If you look at it more. This is an opportunity. This is an opportunity. You see it. It's, it's, it's opportunity. And, and, you know, you can actually start getting excited. And I'm serious. You can start getting excited when an issue comes up because you're like, I'm going to get stronger through this. You either get stronger or weaker when situations come. You determine that. Your mindset. And you, so when you change the way you think, you're going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And it's when you come in alignment with the words of life.
okay? And the power of words. Get your words in alignment, your thinking in alignment. And your, your speaking can give you good thoughts to think on, right? So our the power of our tongue. Now, it, it, we have life and death is in the power of our tongue. That's what Proverbs tells us. So it's in the power of our tongue. So what are we going to say about that situation, these circumstances, these symptoms? And not saying not go to the doctor now. So don't put, uh, I'm just saying there are times when I had a headache and I started thinking about how healed I am and that headache went away. It's, it's amazing how we can we can cause light frequencies, we healing frequencies. But if we think about how sick we are, then we just I'm encouraging you to think on how healed you are. Think about the destination where if you want to, what is your vision? What is your your dream that you want to perform? What is your dream job? What is all of this? I mean, you know, we get to choose these things and. Um, and we'll go on that more in another day. So the wall, I want to come back to that wall, speaking the right words, not being moved by that wall being there. Speaking the right words, not being moved by the problem that is there. Speaking the right words. Um, say like this debt, I call this paid. I call it paid. And you'll start getting ideas of how to make money. You'll start seeing YouTube videos and Facebook things that says uh, ways to make money. You start implementing that. See, and then there's other ways and the, and the Holy Spirit can give you ideas too. You can think of, make a list of 50 ways you can make money and try as many as you can to get up to that 50. You'd be amazed. Once you start putting your attention to it, you start doing things that will cause you to get out of debt. And then, um, and it goes with any, any situation. If you're in a relationship, that is not good. The first thing I want to share with you is that I have an amazing husband, right? And what, and what I, the way that I, my perception in our early years, you know, around the fit after the honeymoon kind of situation, I started seeing myself not enough. I started seeing this. I started seeing that because I was moved maybe by things that were said or things that was done, not necessarily by him, but by different people. And I received it as my thoughts. I took their thoughts and their words that they said and let it go in my soul. And I started thinking on it and it became a problem with me. Okay. So that that's we, the main thing that we can do is look at us and see how we can change to make that change. And it's amazing, right? There's a couple of you that have shared about um, some things with me. And I'm telling you, the uh, building up your relationships is not a problem. It's opportunities to change you. And what goes on the inside of you is displayed in your home or in your situation. It could be fellow employee. It could be an employee-employer relationship. It could be um, your spouse relationship. It could be your children and, and uh, parents and, and grandparents, whatever. It can even be with your pets. So let's, let's think about this. Let's think good thoughts. Let's think when there's a problem, let's look for the solution. Don't give our attention to the problem because it feeds it, makes it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Even though it's not bigger, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger in your soul, in your mind. It becomes this huge thing, this huge wall. So speaking those right words will do those vibrations to start breaking and crumbling down that wall and you go forward. OK, so the power, understanding the power of your words, having the right frequencies is. Is like charting your course and it helps you to go forward having that right frequency. So we want to speak those right words and to say to yourself, I go forward, I go forward. And whenever you, you miss it, you forgive yourself and say, I get up and you brush yourself off joyfully and lovingly. I go forward and you go forward, right? So you take control of your thoughts and you can do that with the words of your mouth because you have the power of your own spoken word. Oh, and I'm so thankful for that. And plus um, we have the living power of the word of God that he's already, he's already put in book form. He's already put out into the universe. And so when we come in alignment with his principles, come in alignment with those spiritual laws, it's amazing how our life comes in alignment with life and the blessing and abundance. And uh, so it's staying there, right? It's staying there. Okay. So um, 
you know, too, there's a couple of scriptures, Psalms 119. It's the longest chapter in the Bible, and that is for a reason. So I'm encouraging you to go read it and see why, because it will give you direction and help you find answers to your problems. Okay, I'm looking at my notes here. Um, so we already discussed that. So now, depending on what you said, depending on what you say and what you have said. Now, the good news is if you've been negative all your life, the good news is you get to pivot that around right now, today, this moment, you can mark this day and this hour that today I'm going forward and I forgive myself for all the negative things I've said. And I renounce that in the name of Jesus. I, it's no longer a part of my life. I break that pattern. See, the words are breaking that pattern, breaking those strongholds and those ties that kept you back. OK, so those patterns in your life, the ones that are not good patterns, by tweaking your words, by by tweaking your attitude and your emotions and, and things going forward, you can go in an amazing speed going forward and do what you couldn't do for years in your life. You can do it, do it in just a short time going forward. OK, and uh, that goes with the scripture that says that he would, you know, it says the years that the canker worm has eaten up. I'm telling you, you can go forward with speed. So don't give up. Don't give up. And remember, there's a wall there. You've got the power within you that God's given you to break that wall down. And the only reason it's there is because pattern after pattern after pattern after pattern of whatever's been going on, you know, to so whatever was the cause of those patterns. But you, it doesn't matter because you get to speak the right words over that and break that power, break that wall down and then go forward, right? There's two ways um, that we talked about the words already, the vibrational power of words. And we also going to talk about attitude because attitude is your altitude. If you have a bad attitude, well, I forgive myself. That's not, you got to put energy into it. I forgive myself. I forgive myself. And, and same thing. I forgive others. I forgive you. I forgive others. I forgive the situation from rising, even rising up. I forgive it all. And say, what are you doing? You are unhooking from all that so you can go forward. Okay? Put energy in behind your words. And remember, love, life, and truth. Stay there. Right? And truth can change the facts. The facts may be staring you in the face, but you've got the truth. And you can cause those facts to bow his knee. All right? So understand that. Praise you, Lord. <laughs> so uh, speak life uh, like the sand was doing the frequencies and change into those patterns. You're speaking life, uh, you know, speaking right words to those, to, to that wall. It will crumble. It will come down. And depending upon your consistency in it determines the power that you put in it. Okay. Being consistent in that. It's not one day I say it this way. Another day when it looks like it's not working, I'm saying something different. No, it's staying in alignment with what you chose. Stay with yourself. Be true to yourself. Be true to that word, okay, that you're going forward. And it's going forward lovingly. Is that? And I'm just sharing this. Going forward, it's not stepping on other people to get there. It's not stepping over people to get there. It's going forward. Because as you're going forward, even if you're in the back of the line, you get to go forward because of your attitude is your altitude. OK, so it, it's like the flat, you know, I forgot what it's called. It does like this in the back of the plane that, um, you know, that does this. It determines you going up or down. That's attitude. It determines you going up and down. So go up. <laughs> yes. So um, so as you continue um, to be consistency, the frequency of life, it life prevails, evil fails. Life prevails, death fails. Speak life, speak life, speak life. Overcome evil that you've spoken in the past and even things that have been spoken over you. Overcome all that and say, I no longer take those. Uh, I, I evict those thoughts that I thought that people said about me because they're not true. You are valuable. You're intelligent. You, uh, you are amazing. So don't let other people tell you anything that's contrary to what God would say about you. He created you with love and wired you for love and has an amazing plan for your life. OK, so let's go forward in that in that plan. Um, 
making the, <laughs> making the quality decision from, from this point on and mark this day and hour. Mark this time, mark this day, that this is a day that I'm preparing for takeoff. I am I'm getting rid of those walls. I'm getting rid of that which would stand in the way and that which weighs me down in my soul to keep me from going up. You're getting rid of that. You're getting rid of that. That is good. So, um, and you speak right words. You choose to speak right words that work for you. And anytime you you realize, oh, I said, I said an hour ago that I, I said so-and-so, just Overcome evil with good, speak the right words, and, and train yourself to stay consistent, be consistent with that, okay? Those are the pivoting moments. The pivoting moments when, when uh, you know, the feelings want to just say, well, it doesn't look like it's working. Oh, yes, it is working. I'm not listening to you. I'm not going to take on your vibrations. <laughs> you see that? I mean, I literally, I said, that's unacceptable. I'm not taking on those vibrations. I'm staying with the vibrations of life. OK, so, you know, we, we get to choose that. So choose wisely, <laughs> choose wisely. You may be even caught in the middle of a sentence saying something negative. Stop right there. Stop right there. Don't complete that. Overcome that right there in that sentence. Get it into a life situation. Give it into life frequency is what I meant to say. Life frequency, because it's going to create the situation you speak. OK, so our words are alive. <clears throat> and uh, their life frequency. Let me get some water. Water. <clears throat> water is life. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> speaking life. Now, speaking words of life, those life frequencies that call upon more life frequencies to come. And when you understand that you're in cooperating with the with the Lord, you're cooperating with his spiritual laws. You're cooperating with what some people call universal laws. So when you cooperate with them, see, they work for you. Okay. And so we need to choose life and be consistent. Consistency is the key that you'll need for your to take off. Consistency. This is this is what you're going to need. This and I'm saying it again. Consistency is the key. And I want to say it to where that every time you see your car keys your and your vehicle keys, that you think consistency is the key. Being consistent is the key, right? So I'll just say it one more time. What is, what is the key? Put that in the comments. Consistency, that is the key. And that's where the power lies. Okay. All right. So be aware of what you're calling to you. And when you are speaking, an attitude matters. You know, we talked about that. That that's a that's a frequency. That's a vibration as well, and it will cause you to go up. And and depending on 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 what you're giving attention to, what you're thinking on and talking about, and is it will take you up or it will take you down. Your attitude is is the is what determines that. Okay, and we want to go up. Okay. So again, consistency. What is consistency? It's the key. <laughs> it depends on what you say. And um, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, I want to share that with you. Now, this is important. We talked about some scriptures yesterday. I encourage you to go back to those. They're, they're dynamite. They're good. Um, they're dynamite and destroying evil. And uh, so trust in the Lord, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord. All your heart. Any areas that you've been, and, and I know from, from experience, and I'm still learning this. I'm still being consistent. There's no point in life that you stop being consistent in this because you keep going higher and higher and higher to a better and happier and joyful, healthier you. Okay. <clears throat> so depending on what you say and think and do and take action on, those are all frequencies. So you don't want to take action on being hateful. You don't want to take action on uh, being angry and then those things, right? we got to stay consistent and true to life, love and truth. So trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. See, the feelings will try to get you to look and say, well, it doesn't look like it's working. Or, you know, I've always had it to work this way. And but it's not working now. So, you know, what what is it? 
you, it, your own uh, reasoning, reasoning and perceptions, your own understanding will not support you in situations that are that would take you down. It, it, it will not support you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and in all your ways. So there's two things in all your heart and that, that soul, mind, will, and emotions. So the mind must trust in the the will and the and the emotions. It will be trusting in the Lord. And it affects when you make that choice, it affects your mind, your will, your emotions, it affects your feelings. And, and you don't let your feelings rule nor your emotions. So in all your ways, and so all your heart and in all your ways, you acknowledge him. And how do you acknowledge him? What, what, how, what does that mean? Acknowledging him that he he is the creator. He created this whole world. So it's like, okay, he can sure help me with mine, with my life, right? So uh, acknowledge him as the creator. Acknowledge him as God, acknowledge him as Lord, Jesus is Lord, acknowledging the Holy Spirit as your God, your spiritual God. He's there for you to do for you in your soul what Jesus did for you spiritually. So and then the two come together and I'm telling you, that's amazing life. So in all your ways, acknowledge him. And guess what? He directs your path. He gives you he helps you in with what to do. He directs your path. He is actually the navigator. I said yesterday, our attention was in a sense, but really the Holy Spirit is the navigator. We get to choose. So we're the navigator too. Do you see that? So what are you choosing? So allow the Holy Spirit to direct you and it will change the situation. And no excuses, no excuses why you can continue to not break that wall down. It might have become a comfort zone. So we got two more minutes. It might have become a comfort zone. It's time to stand up, get off the couch, and start taking action. Start uh, uh, putting your attention on things that produce life and words that will break down that wall to where you can see the amazing life on the other side. Okay? So it's important that we be true to what God has shown us. Now, we talked about clearing. We talked about the soul and how important that is that we have the creative power within us to do what it is that we desire to do. He gives us the desires of our heart. He's given us the creative power to do this. And so we want to acknowledge him, right? So to clearing up the, the runway, today we were, we were actually doing the I guess you could call it the walk around to see what needs to be done. Taking this off, making sure this is working, making sure our attitude's right, and then making sure that we have the key, the consistency, making sure that all of these things are taking place and that our lights are shining and, you know, that we, we have our attention in the right place so the flappers are working, you know, all of these different things. And so we are ready to get into the plane. And we'll talk about that tomorrow and take off. Have an amazing day. I'm so glad to share this with you today. And if you have any questions, comment. Um, please also, if you have, if you have some additional things you would like to share with what we're talking about, put that in the comments. We would love to hear it. And in, click the like button. And click the uh, subscribe if you hadn't already. And also click the share button so that you can share this with someone else and share it with at least one person because it could change your life. It could save their life and help them to see, hey, I can have a better life, right? And, and also click the alarm and let you know when videos are available. I'll talk to you tomorrow and have an amazing day. And remember, stay consistent with life, love, and truth. And break down those walls that may be in the way. Take away those weights that is in your soul. See, we're not just talking about physical walls that are around us that we see. We're also talking about the walls that we have inside. It's breaking those walls. And what I've told you today, we'll do that. So rewatch this video with that in mind as well. 
Have a great day and keep building up your believer and clearing the runway and taking care of everything that needs to be taken care of. Because tomorrow we're talking about going up and taking off. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.